We will define the geometry of the forward bar mechanism, select the points option and then click on the drawing screen. The first node, the second one, the third, the fourth and the final one. Then select the elements option in order to create each element. Click once on the first node and twice on the last node that defines the element. The same process in order to create the second bar and the moving platform. Don't forget to click twice on the last node. The next step is to define the revolute joints and then click on each node. We define all the nodes of the mechanism and we have created the geometry of the four bar. Once the geometry has been created, we can modify the position of each node. For that, select the Modified option and click on the node. Then we can move the node's position and as appears on the left hand side, we can also write directly the coordinates of each node. The X coordinate and the Y coordinate We can perform now the motion of the mechanism. For that, select the motion module in the top menu. And then, we have to select the input actuator. In this case, the fixed revolute joint. Thus, select the corresponding icon and click on the node. The graphics associated with this input appears at the right hand side, position, velocity and acceleration. The parameters can be varied. Then click the compute motion and then click again on the icon in order to take out the graphics. We can control the movement of the mechanism with play and pause. and also with the moving bar, in order to see the motion of the mechanism. Let's analyze some kinematic properties, as for example the trajectory, velocity and acceleration. Just click on the corresponding options in the menu on the left hand side, and then select the path icon, and click on each node. We can visualize the trajectory of each node, the velocity in red and the acceleration in blue color. Select the element display, then pass and select the moving platform. Click on swept option and we can visualize all the positions of the moving platform along the motion. We can also, in the player options, change the velocity of this motion in order to go a little bit slower. We can obtain the fixed centroid, the moving centroid, the instantaneous central rotation and the central tangent and also see how they evolve along the motion. and also another kinematic important entities for example the inflection cycle, the inversion cycle and the return cycle 